Look at that. We actually have lecturers at this place. So this is where we normally have some of our lectures. These lectures include... For second years, for the first semester, this is where they have your 8th credit course. You yeah, man, that wicked 8th credit course, man. What about? This is where they have your naps. And for the third year students, this is where you normally have your biochemistry classes, such as biochemical physiology and advanced biochemistry. Yeah. A drag. <laughs> you look at that here at the University of the West Indies Mona campus it just starts to rain for no reason and then all of a sudden boom it's sunshine yep Fit as a fiddle, don't worry, you don't have to worry about that. Good <laughs> afternoon, everybody. This is part B of the lab tour of the biochemistry section in which we'll be exploring lab north, south, east, and west. And today, um, I'm Oliver Slim and Larry Mackenzie. I'm the Molly Lewis and we are going to be bringing you throughout how the lab normally um, is right throughout the day, right? And with us right now, we have someone who has never been to a lab before, which most of you don't even know how it looks. So no problem. You can watch his reaction and understand everything that is happening, right? Lab rat. <laughs> Let's go. I mean. We'll be touring the East Lab of the Biochemistry section and today um, one of the lab technicians will be talking to you about the rules and regulations covering the lab. Okay. So, hi everyone. Uh, if you were here, we'll be physically talking to you and telling you of these rules and regulations. And the main thing is when entering a lab, we expect that you should have your lab course, um, lab goggles, especially when doing biochemistry and most importantly you should have a closed toe shoes no slippers no um crocs with especially crocs with the the holes in them no flip flops ensure that you have a completely covered feet right and um no long fingernails um here should be pulled back in a bun preferably if not at least pulled back away from your face so that um, there's no exposure while you're doing your um, experiments you may have 
you may have some labs that you will be asked to wear um, to take your own to take gloves or you'll be able to have to wear gloves in order to do the labs however another rule that we would want you to adhere to is no drinking or eating in the lab you are not to take any food or liquid in the lab especially whilst performing um, your practical it's not allowed if you must eat or drink you have to exit the lab and then return all right so as long as you adhere to the rules and regulations we will do pretty fine thank you putting on your love coat always have to ensure that we're buttoning up all the way down or all the way up just to not, not, not ensure that not any part of the, the clothing is not revealed all right so ready all right so all set This general area is where we have the fuel pods. Most of the labs that we have have at least two fuel pods and any fuming chemicals that we use will be worked with under a fuel mode for your safety and for mine and the general safety overall. So this is these are our fuel pods. Um, and if we were doing chromatography, this is where we place the, the, the baths with the Fuming chemicals, because most times chromatography is done with um, chemicals such as ether, diethyl ether, and other fumic chemicals that can um, be very hazardous to your health, especially through inhalation. So this prevents a lot of that and keeping everybody in general safe while doing the experiment. Okay, so guys, this is a very important piece of equipment when doing bad chemistry. Almost every lab that you do, most labs that you do, would entail some use of this. And this piece of equipment is called a spectral photometer. It gives readings at um, different wavelengths. The light path of the spec would, would be from, you know, from east to west. Yeah. And it goes through what we call um, a cubit. So whatever solution you have would be you place cubit in the spec and of course you set the wavelength to what is required for the specific solution and you obtain a reading that will be displayed on the, the display of the machine. So for most labs in my country, this is the equipment to know and everyone will be exposed to. Alright? So the lab like in first you will use the electrophoresis bath which um, shows the students you well you will be introduced to it in, in a lab setting where you would um, use paper chromatography um, with electricity passing through the paper moving of the ions from one end to the other um, so that's another form of chromatography that we introduce the students to in um, Environment, especially in the first year lab. Guys, so this is where you'll be putting your bags because you can't have your bags exposed during the lab session. So I'll put it here. And you know, you are leaving from the East Lab to the West Lab. You will see what it beholds. <laughs> Over here, we got this. And let's take a little peek. Don't let them see. Hmm. Oh, it looks like the same thing. Oh, come on. Yep. All right, so we just visited uh, the lab where the first years would be in for my biochemistry. Now we'll be visiting the lab for second years will be doing your bioenergetic labs. So. This is what you should not be doing in the lab. All right, you see that? All 
right? And you know, there's another fume hood, people. And we'll be exploring over here right now. And this is where they prep for things. Authorized personals only. You can't go in, you understand? So we're just going to. Whoopsies! And remember, when you're leaving the lab, you go through the door. Faculty of Medical Science. Just look at that. This is level two of biochemistry. Once you have a course, you know where TA is, this is where they would normally be located for consultation or to handle your labs or things yeah. like those. Always the caramel, caramel lab, like especially late labs, I want you to go look for labs that prepare them. Just remember, if you ever need to go into this room to present a lab, that means it was late. <laughs> So this you store samples and um and things at minus eighty. Minus eighty is the lowest that it that it goes. Look at that people, just be realistic now. Can you put your hand in there and expect to come out back Trust properly? Me, you you, you make piece of your fingers will be left in there. So um generally when we're going in we have these um hard gloves that we <laughs> that we use, we have these that we use to touch and to take out. So it's like if you're at home and you put your finger, your wet hand in your freezer, you realize that. Yeah. So that, I'm gonna multiply that by five. <laughs> and that one glove can I feel with? No, but you put your hand in the glove and you use that hand to take the sample out. You don't, you know, because there's, there's several doors in there, several shelves, and then of course, I can't really open it now. No, but no. there's several doors and several shelves, and you take your, the sample out. Well, the student would not be taking their sample out, it would be. Authorized personnel only. These are the remains of the microbe experiment that was being done last year. All right. That was me. Look at that. Look at that, people. Look at that. Let us. Let us. Look. Oh, it is not turned on. Ah, gotcha. We got space for everybody. We are like WorldNet. We got a space for everybody. Say it is authorized personal only. You know, so I'm sure the camera can maybe, you know. Look at that, look at that. We're no we are authorized. Oh wait, sorry, there's a fence right. So we'll be going over to the South Lab where things are going to get interesting. Oh, I, I'm 
the um, gate down there, there's that little bridge that goes across. That's another way of getting over from block A to block B and vice versa. Yeah. Okay, so we're moving on to South Block, which is otherwise known as the microbe Block. Even though you will have some microbe Block over, um, over in the north, but this is the general. Alright guys, uh, so for this lab, it's for me in the first years, it is a micro B slash molecular lab. So let's go. Alright, so there's a working process. Fermentation, we're going to be making wine people. Good quality wine as well. You see the sample right there? That's a good sample, people. That's a good sample. Remember, people, anytime you're drawing, draw what you see, not what you imagine. But when you draw, you see them sitting on that seat. So, you draw with them. That's why you see it. When they tell you, you see what they're saying. <laughs> right? This room, you should not go in there, people. Don't go in there. Don't go in there, people. Don't go in there. Understand? Yes, good. That over there, people, is University of the West Indies Mona Campus Dam. Mm -hmm. 